What I want to talk about now is record keeping and why you, we keep records. And the main reasons are, well, a really important one at least, is American fowl brood control. Um, if you find you've got a colony with American fowl brood, you might want to know if you've taken anything away from that hive and put it somewhere else. It's really useful to help you with the management of colonies. And the third one is we've got a lot of beekeepers with, a, with not a lot of experience. And most teams are made up with an experienced beekeeper and some beekeepers that may only have one or two years experience. So it's quite useful to see who's been working on hives beforehand so you can pick up any problems that may arise that you need to get straightened out that may have a negative effect on honey production later on. If you're keeping records, perhaps one of the most important things is to have your hive numbers numbered. So each hive's got an individual number and the easiest way of doing that is to um, use air tags. Uh, these are, these are cattle ear tags and they all come with individual numbers. They will kind of last forever and what you can do is nail them on the front of the beehive. So you do this all through your outfit and every hive is an individual number. So if you need to come back to a hive for some reason, you can record which one you need to come back to and it's easier to find it in an apiary. The next thing you can do is actually record information on the hive itself. Um, what we do is we paint a white strip on the hive so it's easy to follow and with a felt pen you can record who did the inspection last, when it was done and anything else you might want to have included. For instance, you might have the initials of the person, you might have the date and then anything you want to note about the hive. For instance, was it queenless? Um, was it, did it have swarm cells in it? Um, were, was it a suspect day beehive? So it's really easy to record those one at a time. And of course, it's all, in, as you start from the back and move forwards, it's all in chronological order. And after a couple of years of doing this, the top ones have faded and you can go back and start down the list again. So what we've done is we've painted a white strip on the lid and we can now start to record. And because I, I looked at the hive, I can, my initials, we can record the date. And if this colony was queenless, so that we always know who was the last person who checked the hive, when they checked it, and was there anything that they seemed strange about it. So the good thing is you know who did the inspection last, and particularly for AFB inspections, if AFB was missed, you know who missed it and who needs more training. So probably the other important tool for record keeping is an apiary book. And it's probably one of the most important things to have. And so every time that you visit an apiary, you're going to record what was done and also what's needed to be done and what needs to be brought the next time. So that when you come to an apiary, you're never going to go to one where you don't have everything you need to do the next step in the management program. So record keeping is probably one of the most important things you do. So the tools again, you can have individual numbers for your hives so that when you record something in your book about something, a hive that needs something to do, you can go and find it easily. The second thing is the strip of white paint on the lid and recording information about the inspection on there so you know who's been doing what inspections and what was found. And the third one, and probably one of the most important, is the apiary book so that you always know what was done in that apiary last time and what needs to be done next time.